starting with number 12. The snooker community was stunned by a startling development involving Luca Bressel. His partner, Laura Vanneverberger, found herself embroiled in a serious drug trafficking scandal, casting a shadow over the green base. Moving on to number 11. During a tense match between Mark Selby and Sam Craigie, a referee error added an unexpected twist. Monica Sulkowska called a foul that never happened, as Craigie had indeed brushed the yellow ball. Oh, well, it's rolled off. <laughs> I think, I think he hit it. I think he hit it. I saw contact made between the two balls, personally. Might have before. Well, maybe Some not. Maybe. One. Hey, he hit it. I could see he hit it. Yeah, he hit it. Well, he, listen, he's hit it. End of story. It's a foul. No, I'm afraid that's not, that's not quite good enough. At number 10, a light-hearted moment unfolded during Judd Trump's game against Jimmy Robertson, when referee Rob Spencer accidentally misplaced the cue ball while setting up the table. Neil Folds couldn't help but comment humorously on the mishap, bringing a moment of levity to the match. Can you bring it on, please? Of course, poor old Rob Spencer. I mean, it's one thing. What's he doing here? He's forgotten where the ball's supposed to be. The cue ball was not anywhere over there. Nalgazata, Kanieshka. What's he? I think Rob Spencer's forgotten that, that, that the snooker was not the one before. I think he's about to be told. Oh yeah, the, it's, the marker was out. Also, the cue ball's about eight feet out. That's the other <laughs> thing to tell you. Yeah. Because he definitely <laughs> measured it, the cue ball. Towards you. Yeah. No, he's cracked, I'm afraid. <laughs> he's cracked. It goes behind the black. Sorry? I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. <laughs> it's what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we got there in the end. Happens to us all, doesn't it? We all have these moments. He's <laughs> like the only one in the house who didn't know. In fairness, it was behind there on the previous shot, so his memory we was not completely playing him up. He just missed a shot out. <laughs> and next at number nine. After potting the pink, Ronnie O'Sullivan didn't hold back his frustration. He urged the referee to speed things up, audibly exclaiming, You're so slow. Sixth. Ronnie, just making sure the referee can keep up. For number eight. Judd Trump aimed for a straightforward pot on the red, but fate had other plans, as the pink ball decided to join in, rolling into the pocket and earning Trump an unexpected foul. Where's the pink? Oh, would you believe it? How unfortunate can you be? Wow, that's amazing. If that pink wobbles, he'd have been on it. Settle down now, please. It Thank didn't you. touch the sides. Look at that. How has the pink gone in there, Phil? Well, you could recreate that shot. Following up at number seven, the intense crucible clash of 2004 between Quinton Han and Andy Hicks culminated in a dramatic display of temper. As the match concluded, Han, unable to accept his defeat gracefully, made a provocative gesture towards Hicks, adding a controversial twist to the encounter. Blue all over the corner pocket. Well, no me. Hi. So, Andy Hi, Hicks, Andy Hicks. Hicks has had oh, I'm talking to you. some oh, lean yeah. seasons. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. This is some compensation. Hey, hey. hey. I'm waiting for you out there. Oh, a few words, a few words. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
Number six brings us to Anthony McGill, who found himself in a peculiar position, quite literally on top of the snooker table, attempting a shot that raised eyebrows and questions about the legality of such acrobatics in the game. If I ever Anthony, I'd just check to see if it weren't, weren't touching. <laughs> yes. You have to keep a, a foot on the floor at all times. Can't do that. <laughs> I don't think Mark goes particularly. Transitioning to number five, Gary Wilson showcased his exceptional skill and poise by handling the rest with one hand while flawlessly executing a challenging shot with the other, earning admiration and applause from the spectators. Hmm. Using the spider, this green will be so difficult. Oh, he's trying to hold it up with one hand. Well, this is the shot. He's got it! Well, what a way to play it! Unbelievable! Yes! Well, what a session that turned out to be. We had one long drawn out frame, but. At number four, Mark Williams thrilled the audience with a dazzling display of skill, sinking the pink ball off the rail single-handedly. One-handed. Well, our repertoire's come out of this frame from Mark Williams. He's potted it! He's potted it! Would you believe it? Sensational! Well... Number three features Lewis Heathcote, pulling off what could only be described as a miraculous shot. Using the jaw of a pocket, he executed a rebound that seemed to defy physics, securing a place in snooker highlight reels. As we near the top, number two, Neil Robertson provided a moment of comic relief in an otherwise tense match by accidentally launching the cue ball off the table while aiming for a red. Play now, he's playing more power now. Oh dear me. No point, Sangham. Four. Well, that's where the cue ball finished. Just checking the tip. Sometimes when you play a shot like that, you can just chip it. Trying to put so much power in it. And uh, didn't cue that well. And as immediate when you play a shot like that, you look at the tip. And finally, number one. During a match featuring Ronnie O'Sullivan against Gary Wilson, the calm of the arena was disrupted by a rowdy, intoxicated spectator. The disturbance was quickly handled as he was escorted out, allowing the match to continue in peace. Excuse me. Just hang on a sec, Ronnie. Come down. Get this guy out. He needs to go. Martin. Out. This one here. Yeah, he needs to go. <clears throat> Straight out. Just a slight problem with someone in the audience. I'd... And that's a wrap for this one. See you in the next one. For more snooker content, click on the screen right now.